and welcome back to Discovering Dataflex. And uh, today we are looking at uh, the import function because we had a small issue with the import function uh, because it can read files, but I have created a sample file, old stuff two, that has this string that is put on two lines. And this one is also on two lines. So we would like to, uh, to read this file because sometimes you, you have line breaks in, um, in the file. And I'm just gonna show you what happens when we read this. We get an error because we have an index out of bound. So as you see, we added the chandelier. So let's see what we got here. Star with light, chandelier, marks, eggs. And then we got Easter eggs four, and we got one of each. But if you look at these, you can see that Easter eggs four uh, has just been created with the same ID as above instead of 19 or the holiday. Um, so there are some strange things going on here that we do not want. So it seems like it's reading this properly with this line break but it's not reading this one. And there's a little bit of a trick here uh, because if you show the uh, time characters here, you can see that this only has a line feed while this one has a carriage return and line feed. So if the line feed or the, the line break only consists of a line feed, it will work, it will read it. But if it consists of a carriage return line feed, then it will actually um, break and it will read the second line. So how would we go about fixing this? Then we have to dive into the code. And I also just want to delete all of these that we can read them in again later. And we have the import function here. And as you see, we get the number of lines here. We read the file and uh, then we read the first line. And this one is actually reading the the um, first like name decoration and stuff like that. So we don't care about that. And then we go in here and read this one. And uh, then we do some buffering stuff here. So what we wanna do here is we want to make sure that the number of uh, columns are consistent. So first of all, we want an integer. And I total columns. After reading this one, we actually wanna do this. Um, buffer thing to get the correct string out of it. And there we have the I buffer length, but what we really want is to split this one on these because the headline usually never has any line breaks in it. I would be really surprised if, if that were the case. 
So what we now want to do is um, move um, array no, size of array is data. Do I total columns? Now we have something to compare with. And then we do this the read line and go through this buffer thing here. And uh, then we can do while. We actually want to do a, this one as well. how many but then we don't want to have the total columns we want to have the number of columns and if i columns is less than i total columns then we want to read another line And in this case, we need to make sure that we don't just read the other line, we want to append it to the existing line. So in here, we actually want to have a temp buffer. So we add an STMP buffer. And that's what we're reading inside the while loop, moving it here. And then when we're done, save it to the temp buffer. And um, this is just, as we said in, in the video where we did these uh, CSV um, to get the right encoding on the file or on the string. So now when we have the S buffer, we actually want to add it to the buffer. So move S buffer plus S CMP buffer. And here we do not care if, if we have multiple returns or stuff because they all get in here anyway. Uh, to s buffer and then we want to split the buffer again s data and we want to make a count to i columns to see if we actually have the right number of columns and i think that should be it Upload old stuff too. And we still get our bounds. Okay, so there's something still that doesn't work. Let's see what we got here. Ah, I see what we're missing. Stop. Uh, we do not do the split here. So we need to do the split before we can calculate the number of data points, of course. So let's run this again. Test our little script here. Now we do not get any errors, but where is the code? Are we stuck in here? while loop, yeah. Column says one, is that, yeah, okay. So that's because there's an empty line in the end here. So we probably want to make sure that if there's an empty string coming, we do not want to read that string at all.
um, while this buffer if is buffer not empty string begin we don't care about this and go in here and say import upload stuff too and now it actually ends up here okay and we can run through it and run through yeah. I'm still stuck in here hmm is buffer is a new line character. Okay. Trim buffer then. Uh, import upload. There you go. And now if we go into the database, rerun this, we can see that we got all the values and we got the entire rows here. Uh, but here we have used for the function we did in the last video because this string sometimes have an apostrophe around it. And we do not want the apostrophe. So what we can do is we're going to these again. And we actually going to and we actually gonna add the function that we called in our unit test here, remove surrounding app posts from string. And we wanna do that when we move data into this uh, object. And we wanna do it on the main. We want to do it on the description. We want to do it on the category. Uh, IDs, we can do it because uh, they do not have apostrophes and expiration dates. They don't have apostrophes either. So, uh, oops. Just to be sure if someone puts a date in with an apostrophe. Um, so this will clean out the apostrophe around the text and will read the data clean into the database. Uh, so I think these updates will be enough to read our new file. So let's run a final test and make sure that the data has been read in properly refresh and there's no apostrophe around this text here and everything looks great um apart from that we might want to double check oh we actually can double check if we go to the item view i think i'm just gonna find the easter eggs yeah, the new line is there. There and is it also on the wall watch? Let's double check the wall watch. Yeah, we got two lines there. Uh, so I hope those were uh, useful fixes to the import CSV file script. And um, I'll see you next week.